Chag Sameach. Okay. So, in this season, we have heard a lot, um, a lot of teaching from the Bema, a lot of frontal. And so I'm going to do, I'm going to do half and half. I'm going to do some teaching, and then I'm going to ask you to reflect and participate um, for the second part. I have always loved this a bit, this enigmatic and a bit mysterious holiday of Shemini Atzeret. And the first reason is that it's my Hebrew birthday. So that's fun. And the second more important reason is that we reach out to our ancestors in at least two special ways today. In two these two distinct ways. First, we ask God to remember our ancestors. Um, the, first, the first way we do this is for their sake, is in Yisker. And the second way that we reach out to our ancestors is for our sake, as part of the prayer for rain, for Geshem. So first, Yisker. We will ask that the ones whom we've lost are remembered. We will say, Yizkor Elohim, God, remember, remember them. And we ask that their souls are bound up in the bond of life. In other words, we pray that they should remain in the present with us, connected to our lives, connected to the present, even though they are no longer here themselves. We also strive to honor them through our good deeds and tzedakah, hoping that on account of us, on account of our actions, because we merited it, God will give them the peace and rest and honor that we hope we, they will have. Yisker, which we will, we, we will proceed with next um, in a few minutes, is for our ancestors. Gisker is for their sake. Geshem, which we will recite a little bit later this morning, is for our sake. Once a year on Shemini Atzeret, we recite Geshem, the prayer for rain. We ask for rain at the exact time when we need it most. We meaning, writ large, the people Israel especially agriculturally in the land of Israel, this is the time um, when, the, when there's, it's the beginning of the rainy season. So this is when we need rain the most. The stakes could not be higher, especially if we think of, of ancient Israel and the need for rain in ancient Israel. If the rain didn't come for a few days, the animals started dying. If the rain didn't come for a few weeks, Children started dying, and the, those, maybe those who were ill, started dying, frail. And if the rain didn't come for a few months, if it was a few months late, everyone would be in danger. Everyone might start dying. And so given these high stakes, the Geshem prayer for rain was composed in what I would describe, and this is a little bit of my attorney identity, what I would describe as a very effective oral argument to God as to why we need the rain now and we deserve it now and you must give it to us now. We call upon the legacies of our ancestors who had special relationships with God and we list them. There are two versions. Um, so there's one that lists um, men and there's one that has added in the matriarchs. So we, we mention Avra Abraham, Sarah, Isaac, Rebecca, Jacob, Rachel, the three siblings, Miriam, Moshe, and Aaron. And we chant Zachor. So first, we, I talked about Yizkor. In Geshem, the prayer for rain, we chant Zachor, remember them, remember our ancestors. And we remind God of each of their stories. And we do so with such... Uh, Although in illusion, we do it with such clarity that we don't even have to mention their names in the liturgy. If you want to take a look, feel free. It's on 379 um, is, is Geshem. We tell their stories with such clarity. We don't even have to say their names. God will know. And we plead for whatever good we might have on account of them, their merit, 
because of their merit, we should have the water that we need to survive. And their stories are told beautifully using this trope of water. We'll see that each line will have a connection to water continuously, again, effectively, in good argument, arguing to God, reminding God that water is the task of the day. So I'll read one example. And um, like I said, the name will, won't be mentioned, but I'll ask if you want to guess the reference. Remember the one whose birth was foretold by those who were offered water. You instructed his parents to spill his blood like water. I heard Yitzchak. Yes, he too learned to pour out his, his heart like water, and later he dug wells and found springs of water. For the sake of his righteousness, grant the gift of flowing water. Because Yitzchak was righteous, we hope and pray for water today because he merited it. On their account, for their sake, we should have rain. There is a beautiful symmetry in the two pieces of today's liturgy that are at the center. So in Yezker, we pray that our merit will earn for our loved ones through our tzedakah, through reciting Yizkir, through our deeds today, that they will have what they need, that they will have honor and connection to life, and they will have peace and rest. Yizkir is for their sake. And in Geshem, we pray that our ancestors merit all of their, we'll see, all of their stories and all that they've done in their relationship with God, that their merit will earn us what we need, and, of course, Geshem is praying for rain, and we can also expand that rain to be a placeholder, to be a symbol of anything we might need that is, is truly essential to us. Geshem is for our sake. In a breathtaking exchange of merit across the generations, from ancient times to today, in Geshem, and then from today back to relatively recent history, as we remember those we've lost, we pray for their sake and for ours in two timeless prayers for blessing. And I hope that bo both of them will come true and we, we can say amen to both of them in advance. Amen. <laughs> and now this is where I ask you to participate, a very short exercise. So if you want to look at the prayers um, that, might, that might be meaningful to you, I can give you the page numbers. Yisker um, is on page 330. If you want to look at Geshem, you can look at 379. Um, this is the question, though. Don't get too, uh, too distracted by the, you know, the page numbers. This is the core question to either reflect on your own or to share with some of the people closest to you. We'll just take a few minutes. In the mode of Yisker, in the mode of a prayer for their sake, how do we each honor those we've lost? How do we do, what do we do for them now? And I'll say the first thing we've done for them now is we're here today to recite Yisker on their behalf. And as an alternative, if you would like, in the mode of Geshem, the for our sake prayer, um, how do our ancestors bring us blessing? So if you'd like to share a memory or a teaching or a value that was passed down to you from your ancestors and is a way in which your ancestors continue to give you what you need today in that mode of Geshem. So I, let's, let's get into it. Let's take a few minutes and do this, and then we'll come back together and we'll recite Yisker.